right, I've got to push this out now. In my way. Just have to be careful not to lean on it all. Might have to put a bit more on there. Dunno. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yes, I have to put a bit more on there. It's all, all came off on there, look. Uh, right, okay, where was I? So it does down here. Then this goes across here. Like that. Looking at the direction of the hairs coming through these bits. So we've got. So yeah, that's. We need a, a line down like that, which we just did, and down like that. Now, if we if we don't get any of these bits right, we can put them in with um with more. Now I look. This line here, which is coming round, is actually quite curved in there. And then this is dark. And then we've got, um, then we've got our little ear bit there. And we've got those hairs coming in here. So I have to finish this off before we can do those. I have to finish his ear off. Now, this is quite slim. There. And that's going up there. Quite slim. Slim line. Slim line. And then this is the same sort of feel coming across this way. Coming there. That's that bit there. Yeah, that's that needs to be thinned out a bit there. It's too long. So you just work your way through these bits. It take a little bit of time, just like I've done here. Um, it's not so daunting then. You think, mm, yeah. When you first look at it, you think, oh god, I'm going to start there. But this way, it's not as daunting. Now we've got that curve is there. That's there. And that needs to come. I've got another little mark there, really. It's probably not exact, but it doesn't matter. It's just a nice, nice mark to have. Then this is coming over this way more. Definitely over there more. Uh, but this line is coming a bit further. Then it's all liney in there, which is great. That's curved. We'll soften that up there. And then Got the lines coming through there. Then this this needs to be blacker here, I think. I can see we've got some little lilac bits coming back there. But what we'll do is we'll put them in and then we'll, we'll just go over with black, I think. I'm just getting a bit more base on here so that'll work. Without this base on, it won't, it won't work. So very lightly here. I just put the lines on really, so we can still see the marks underneath exactly where we'd like to go. Rub in a little. Put a bit more black on here, I think. And we've got this, this one here. 
やってたよさ Looking at the angle of this comes straight, like a straight line, and then it it comes right nicely down and thins in. And this is all nice black hair here. Nice. There is a bit of rust in there, uh, but we've got a very dark line there. Soft on the edge there. We could put some little flecks in there. We've just got to make sure we keep that line there. Softer there, much. It's black, but it's soft. This is a bit darker. That's very dark in there. Yes, I can see blue in here. We'll get some dark blue on there. That'll look nice. We've got a little bit coming across here. And we've got this dark patch here. That's there. So I'll obviously put that in. Then we've got a nice, nice bit here. It's nice and dark. Not pressing hard here, don't need to. Then we've got that bit there. Coming up, that angle. Very black here. There is a little bit of white in there. I'll leave that white. We'll just soften that down a bit, I think. Just make it a bit more airy looking. We'll just kind of do that with it. That's all, all we need, really. Just did that, didn't we? Those hairs are just kind of going through like that. And they're very sort of wispy, those little hairs in the back. And as I said to you before, you could put them out here and use that light colour on the back there to, to really put lovely thin hairs in there. And that's there, that's darker. It's got a bit of blue in there. And come down like that. Then that's straighter. See, just all the time I'm just looking at the angles. If you get these right, it will it will look okay. And these are kind of rounded, aren't they? Rounded, rounded, go through, wispy. 
you don't get the angle right like I, I did in there, just do it again. The more hairs you've got going through there, the realistic it, is, it will look like. Even though, you know, you're not using realistic colours. Um, well, I'm not anyway. Um, it will still look realistic if you get all these angles correct. Uh, otherwise it can look a bit like, yes, you've made it up. And it just won't come off as well. This lovely, very dark line here. I'll be careful not to make it too much of a point there. And just kind of soften it around a bit. And then the hairs are coming out softer there. They're a bit more fluffy. We've got a line coming out here. Quite close to that. And then we've got the Look at that, where that's starting there on that hair. It's about here. That comes out now, now, now. And you'll have streaks. There. Now, see here we've got this line like that. And then we've got the under here got kind of coming like this that's that bit there and then it's kind of a little lighter bit in there which you can put in and then it's just sticking out there and then it's kind of coming like this Just go over it, but I think the green in there will look good. Yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. See when we get that orange in there and make it nice and bright in there, it'll look good. It's a little bit thick at the moment. Just darken up that top bit there. Darker marks in here. Yeah, this is darker here. probably needs to go a bit more um, a bit more orange in there yeah okay now I think while we've got the 
more black going. I'll put a bit more black in here. Get these bits in properly here. Now that's quite a thin patch there. Quite a thin bit of lilac, so we can get this really black in here, I think. Really, this is time to take an overview now. Get away from the detail and just really get your black in there. Because although I can see hairs going through there, they're, they're hardly noticeable really. And we can put them over the top anyway. Just look at this shape here. That's coming down like that really. really following the pattern that we put in before as well and this is quite strong so you've got a nice black edge there and then it kind of meets up with this here kind of meeting up with it See that little bit there? That's it. Just watch it. I don't put my hand on there again. All that pastel I've just taken off, I'll have to put on, back on there somehow. But because it involves a background, I won't, I won't put you through that. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> I was glad to finish that background, I must say. Very glad. It's fantastic if you like to do backgrounds and flora and, um, you know, if you're, if you're into doing stuff like that. Um, but it's, to be honest, I don't, I do it, but it doesn't really interest me the same way as drawing an animal does. You know, I find it much more interesting to, to draw an animal or a person. It just holds more interest for me, I don't know why. just never really fancied doing scenes much. I've done a few skies. Skies are hard. Very hard to do. Um, very relaxing, you know, very relaxing for me. I find it relaxing, but I just want to get, get on doing animals really. Started off with animals, then I went on to humans quite quickly actually. I just really always fancied having a go at people. Good fun. Big challenge to the people. Tiny little mark there. I should do some uh, process videos of my people portraits. Might be interested to see those um, because eventually I would would like to do some videoing of doing people. Just need 
to get a few animals, projects ready for you first. Peace. 